Oh, say can you say, by Dr. Seuss. Oh, my brothers, oh, my sisters, these are terrible tongue twisters. Said a book-reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and black back flips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish, and Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish French fried. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finney's if you're wise. You'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish at Finney's fries. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to, then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin Blin shin bone pin, Blin pins Din's shin bones right back in. Bed spreader spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading or that bread spreaders Sure, going to butter his bedding. Oh my goodness. Ape cakes, grape cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener grapes, the greener green grapes are the keener keen apes. No. Mm-mm. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are the keener keen apes are to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Oh my goodness. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. Now let's talk about money. Should you ever leave your Grok's home when you travel by air? If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your groks must be packed and locked up in a groks box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for grokses. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than a simple thimble would. Eat at Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips, 
and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zip's Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting quite queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know that first names of the Fudnudler brothers who like to pile each on the heads of each other's. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace and Hendrix and Hud. And then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud, also Fitzsimmons, and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the bottom is Little Poor Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quack 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 quacks back. And the quacks blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and snacks. So if you can say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. West Beast, East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon its beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beast thinks he's the best beast. Let's go this way. Whoops. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first it was that the East was the best and the West was the worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east, and I liked the beast on the east beach least. Holy smokes. All right, what do we have here? Pete Pat's Pigs. Pete Briggs Pat's Pigs. Briggs Pat's Pink Pigs. Briggs Pat's Big Pigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why. I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs, pig pen. Oh my goodness. This is a silly book, isn't it? Okay, Fritz food. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz, Fritz. Fred, Fritz, Fred. All right, here we go. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred, and Fred, Fred feeds Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred with ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz, Fred a Fritz fed Fred. What?
How to tell a klotz from a glotz? Well, the glotz you will notice has lots of black spots. The klotz is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on a glotz are about the same size as dots on a klotz. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is, then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. Would you climb on that ladder? All right. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook? in a cupcake cook's cap or a flat flap jack flapper in a flat flap jack cap or if you think you don't like cops caps flap jack flappers or cupcake cook's caps maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps perhaps More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of B old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins, who tucking twin instruments under twin chins, lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. And... Oh, can you say, oh, say, can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-string, tin Schwinn mandolin. Oh, my goodness. Rope, soap, hoop, soap. If you hope to wash your soup off a rope, simply scrub it with a scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in a soapy Cooper super soup off hoops soak suds. Merry Christmas, Mush. Merry Christmas, Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas, Mush to Munch. But I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch, Mush Much. Oh my goodness. I don't think I would like... Merry Christmas mush either. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give to your daddy if your daddy's name is Jim and if Jim swims and if Jim Slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. Okay. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night. The gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. Ooh, I like that light. Yeah. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus. A walrus. <laughs> A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say can you say. Okay. 
The storm starts when the drop starts dropping. When the drop stop dropping, then the storm start starts stopping. Whew. That was Oh Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Maybe I'll read that one again and do a little bit better next time. I hope you enjoyed the story.